Here's the thing. I thought we couldn't do it. They sure did. They damn sure couldn't do they it. They damn sure did. We're I'm not even going to talk right now. I'm not even going to. Yeah, you, you know why? You goddamn right we rolling. Y'all thought we had failed the fuck off. I know you did. Y'all inbox me. Y'all were talking reckless. Reckless. I'm like, what's that? Hey, fuck all that taking in shit, nigga. What an episode at? Mm. That's how they treated me. <sighs> it hurt me. All oh, I broke my spirit. I had to meditate on that. That shit hurt. They was attacking me. Mm. They, they bullied me. They tried to. I tried to. I can't get bullied. You know who stopped the bullying? The bully. The eight-year-old bully. The eight-year-old bully stopped the bully. Call for him. Ask who he, they ask. They ask. They know you to say it. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to tell you something. That little girl is running shit. When Billy turns 50, she's going to have a, she going to have this, this her, her own company. Blair got some shit. You need to get that cough checked, brother. That's the second time you can cough like that. We're in a small area. You can infect this whole goddamn. That nigga got tuberculosis. That is a tuberculosis cough. Yeah. That is. Hey, you know, that ain't even tuberculosis. You know, cough. That's typhoid fever, nigga. Yeah, typhoid fever. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga called me like he got cholera. That motherfucker got cholera. You gotta take some castor oil. That nigga been. That nigga got. Hey, he got some shit you get on the Oregon Trail. <laughs> Two. 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 Hey man, I miss you, Billo. Man, I miss you too, man. Back to the world, man. If y'all got y'all drinks at home, God damn it, we back on the couch. Mm. Shout for what damn fool, damn fool, we holding you down, Playboy. Keep your head up. We're going to rock for you. Goddamn coke boys in the building tonight. Mm-hmm. And y'all still asking me if I do cocaine. I've been telling y'all for several months. I've never participated. I, I haven't. I told you about the stories with the girls. Did I have. Fuck it. There it is. There it is. There what it you is. want? There there you, you know who to talk to. There it is. I'm going to tell you about a good friend of mine. Get a coke boy. I can't, say his, I can't say his whole name, even though he needs a name, but he begged me. He mm. said, I got kids. My kids watch the show with me. Wow. Love it. And he has a job in which he makes ten thousand U.S. dollars a week. Yeah, got a seven-bedroom house out in Atlanta, Georgia. He said, "If you say my name, just say just say Pete. Pete, everybody knows what's up." Let me explain to you what he told me. Give it to me. Called me two nights ago, mm. and I was uh, just finished wrapping up shooting. Blair was in the room. I said, "I got a call." I got to take this call right quick because it's been called twice. Mm -hmm. When it calls twice after 1.30, I know what it is. Yeah. See, what y'all don't realize, after a certain time, especially on the East Coast, because let me tell you who runs them up. Them niggas in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Them niggas in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. Oh, it's all the Coke boys up there. Yeah. The Coke boys, they, they, they are up there, truck drivers. I, I know. It was a nigga driving for Walmart called me right at a truck stop. He was doing cocaine? Yes, on his person. He called me on FaceTime. He wanted me to see what I was doing. Sam Walton is turning over. He was banging on right. the truck. He said, you know what's in there? Flat screens. I'm in charge, Billo. Yeah. You need a flat screen? Where you at? I think I can get it there to you. I said, I'm good. I got 75 uh, Kurt with the curve in it, 4K. I said, oh. I don't really got 75 inches worth of space that I right. need to Before fill up. That. But I appreciate your, your thought, brother. But Pete calls me. And Pete says, hey, man. I want you to know what's going on right now. I'm doing this for you. Mm. That was for you. Mm. This next one is for damn fool. Mm. Shit. This next one is for fool mama. Mm. This next one is for pop. Mm. This next one's for little baby Blair for giving me this podcast. Yeah. This is for my wife I lost. That's an eight ball. Nigga, no! It's not an eight ball. That's an 80 ball. That's an 80 ball. This nigga got lines the size of goddamn NFL offensive linemen. Yeah. The 40, the 50, the 60. That nigga in that he bitch. In that thing. He Hi. He said, Billy, when you, when you come out here to, to Atlanta, you got somewhere to stay. Anybody got somewhere to stay? The Cowboys is good with me. Tell Didi if you need somewhere. I got a seven bedroom house. I got a pool, jacuzzi. Everything is good. P. P, you out there doing it like that, huh, P? Be doing it real fucking big. Ain't nobody mad. Shout out to people. We got a lot to talk about. A whole lot. I got to tell you what happened. Me off the rip real quick. Got Go ahead. Off my, my, my Get that ass. off you. Um, I almost got scammed. There it is. I almost got scammed. I'm going to tell you why DD's almost get scammed. Because yeah. he's a risk taker. He's a I gambler. And 
He will send me when he's about to get scammed. I have to tell him several times, hey, Diddy, get out of there. That ain't, that ain't good. That ain't real. That ain't real. Get out of there. Get you out of you there. know who else gets scammed like that? Blair. Oh, Blair, yeah. Yeah. That's they told me send $100, Daddy, and then they're going to send me back $5,000. I right, said, okay. But see, let me tell you why I like that. I like the fact that she saw her money growing. <laughs> <laughs> she saw those funds being allocated and said, you know what? I can actually raise my share of 500%. Right. I can send him $20 and get $5,000. Right. She's like, that's a good idea. Now, it was some Africans that got me. Let me tell you how they got me. How they get you, Dee? Well, I got a phone call from a number. Never seen this number in my life. Ever seen this number on my phone. The number was 000. Oh, zero, 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 one. Zero, zero, one. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I said, who the fuck? All right, fuck it. Not answering that. I don't have nobody saved under zero, 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 one. So, fuck it. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Call back later on that day. I'm like, man, I'm not fucking with the zero, zero, zero number. I'm done with it. So I'm going to block it. I blocked the zero, 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 one number. So they call back the next day. Mm -hmm. Now this motherfucker got all zeros. They took the one off. <laughs> the one is out of there. So I said, fuck it. Let me call. Let me answer this phone call. It's yeah. like seven in the morning. Mm -hmm. I was like, hello. Bing. They have like an automated voicemail thrown on. Please hold for the IRS. I was like, mm -hmm. eight in the morning. The IRS called me at seven, eight in the morning. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. <clears throat> Got the phone. I was like, oh, yes. Please hold for the IRS. They got the little elevator music going on. Cat, come on. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, DD, fuck, man. I'm like, hey, what's up? Is this Devitric Laird? Devitric. Div yeah, Devitric. It's Devitric Laird. Yeah, it's me. Okay. Uh, you're behind on taxes for two years. Okay. Uh, and I'm hearing shit in the background. They tight, they chattering. The IRS got some bullshit going on in the background <laughs> at that headquarters. So I said, this is the IRS? Yes. I was like, well, I was, what do I owe? This, 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 call, this call about you, you owe me some money. Yeah. What well, I owe? You owe $75,000. I was like, 75, God damn. But today, we need a payment of 7500 I was like, Today? <laughs> Not you want, it, you want it today? You, you want seventy five thousand, but you'll do it. You'll take seventy five hundred today. That's a hell of a reduction. <laughs> All right, fuck it. So, but let me tell you why he caught me. This is what got me. He threw jail time in there on me. You, see, whenever they start throwing jail, jail time, time, and there was some jail time, I wasn't ready to handle. He said, "If you refuse to pay, then you face ten to twenty years." in the U.S. federal penal, a prison. And I was like, I can't do that time. I got shit to do, I can't, I can't do that. He so threw the time at you right away. So I said, you know what? Let me hang up and see, you know, what's going on, make sure this is a valid call, and I'm gonna get back with these cats. Right. I get caught up in the day, the phone call calls back. And zero, 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 I was like, oh shit, I forgot to talk to zero. Yeah, they want Answer you. the phone back. I was like, uh, hey, hello, hello. Yeah. Is this? Oh yeah, it's me. Nigga, don't even try to say the name. It's me. <laughs> okay. Have you made a decision if you're going to? I was like, yep, I'm going to pay it. I'm going to pay it. Mm -hmm. I wrote out a check, $7,500, IRS. I was like, okay, cool. I got it all written out. What do I need to do? How do I, you know, get the money to you guys? Okay. Do you have a CVS near you? <laughs> CVS? A uh, CVS? They asked me for the IRS, you make y'all taking shit through the CVS? The government? The government? I'm like, oh, this is fishy. This is real goddamn fishy. Let me tell you something. You get the answer to that and more mm -hmm. in just a minute when we come back on this episode of Did You Miss Me Podcast. Right. We'll be right back. Even this is different people, Patreon subscribers, we've been watching y'all. Y'all been watching us, we've been making moves for y'all. You know why? Because we won't give y'all exclusive shit because y'all deserve it. Why? Because y'all are investing in us. Let me tell you what we got, Patreon. Uncut, unadulterated stories that'll never, ever, ever hit the airwaves. Just y'all ears and eyes will be able to view it. So guess what, people? Twenty dollars subscribers. We thank y'all. Two dollars subscribers. Come on now. Come on. You got to come on now. I know you're getting money now. You know I know. We're gonna be motivating you, motherfuckers, to get the money. So come on, people. Drop that bread off on us. Damn fools in this bitch. He dropped. He's sprinkling tidbits of motherfucking unadulterated juice in you bitches' life. What y'all doing? 
Two dollar subscribers, come on now, step that bitch up. Twenty dollar subscribers, man. What's in two for y'all? I wish I could. I want to tell you right now. But you can't. I, I can't. can't. You can't. I can't tell you. They gotta see it. They, they thought I was dead, bitch. Mm -hmm. I'm still here. Don't tell. Don't you say. See, that's another goddamn story. Subscribe. Dead, dead man. Dead, dead man walking. Ask for that story. Dead nigga. For all y'all that's been asking, there he is. He's still around. He's still around. That's not left the group. Good. I'm glad you said it's rolling. We're glad you enjoyed that. That's right. We're not saying another fucking thing in this story until you bitches like the goddamn video. Yep. Like it. Yep. Let me know what's happening right now. You look down there, you see what's happening down there? The view's going up, but you bitches ain't like it. Why the fuck they ain't like it, Didi? Why are you waiting and blocking your blessings? Yes, your blessings. Saying I shit do with us. You don't want us we to sell out when work. we go somewhere, huh? We doing our part. Yep. Saying I shit do with us. Now nope. what you gonna do? What the fuck you gonna do? You just gonna sit there and just keep just raping us of the goddamn views and not giving us no likes, huh? You're horse fucking us. You're horse fucking. You know how I many look, 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 look at that. Yeah. Still ain't liking it. You bitch you. Yeah, so what? You in a car and you driving. Fuck them kids in the backseat. Like the video. They ain't gonna be shit anyway. Get a phone to the kids. Let them like the shit. Give it back to you. You start driving. They liking SpongeBob. They liking My Little Pony. They liking motherfucking baby shark dude dude. Fuck that shot. That motherfucker right there go. That motherfucker will go. All right. So, Billy. About to get scammed. Damn near about to scam. So, how do you clear this up to nigga where you get some type of validation that this ain't real or not? So... When the dude told me that I need to go down to CVS, it sent out a red flare. Yeah, I'm like, okay. Should definitely. CVS don't really fuck with the government. The government don't really fuck with the CVS. Like, why am I making payments for a government? A government payment through the CVS. It don't make no sense. Let me tell you so that. I'm on the fence about it. I'm like, I'm like, hey man, listen. I gotta make a payment through the CVS. Yes. Hold on. I was like, all right, cool. He put the shit on. He put the elevator music on, right? But he must have hit another button and the shit went back to regular shit. Nigga, them niggas was in that bitch celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. And I was like, hello? <laughs> he said, hello. Hello. Ah, oh, fuck no. Were you here? I was like, yeah, I was here on the line the whole time. I heard y'all celebrate. Hey man, don't call me with this bullshit no more. He said, okay. <laughs> I hung up before. I said, ooh, this nigga almost got me. Man, Shit, let, me tell, got let me, me tell you what I do. Let me tell you what I do. Now, I'm going to tell you, that that is so real and so true because yeah. the scammers is out here, and they out here hard. They called me. When they called me, let me tell you how they called me. How they call you, Billo? They called me with... I'm glad you asked me first mm -hmm. how they called mm -hmm. me. They called me because I'm a dad. And they told me that they were calling from the attorney general's office. Mm. And they said to me that I was in arrears for child support. Mm. Now, they were telling me I had a $1,000 payment that I need to make. And I need to make it over the phone with a debit or credit card right now. Right now. See, that's what gets you. See, they say that's threatening. That's a little threatening. Those are corporate threatening words. I need you. Yeah to adjust what you have going on and get me this today. Right. RL, see the RL shit? You got me with the federal penitentiary. You got me. What you need, how much? 75, okay. If I gotta bounce a goddamn check, I'm gonna get you yours. I'm gonna get you your shit. You know what happened was. What happened, Billo? I am so glad you asked me again. <laughs> Nigga, I have a great relationship with my kids' mamas, all of them. That's good. So I immediately. All girls, bro. I said, I said, hey man, hold on, bro. You need it, okay, hold on. Phone on hold, jumped on my text. I said, hey, group thread. Which one of y'all went down there to them people and told them white folks in my goddamn business? <laughs> now, today, today defense, I was coke born earlier that day. So what time is it? Uh it's about 2:30 in the afternoon. Okay. So I I I, I, I had coke boarded that coke morning. Boy. I had an audition. So I, I had a full suit on, so I felt like I was a goddamn congressman when I did it. <laughs> I put the phone on hold with my suit on. Cause I went to an audition. I had already tooted up for I went to work, went to the audition. So when I got the chance to text, I said, "Hey, so which one of y'all put them white people in my goddamn life? <laughs> 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 which one of y'all put them white folks in my business?" So let me tell you how these women are. They come back with. They don't even come back with words. They come back with emojis, gifts. Oh shit! They fucking with you. Somebody did the bro. The, the, the nigga laid back in the chair <laughs> <laughs> with the bro. They fucking with you. Hey, did somebody? Somebody did the Denzel slapping a piece of paper off the table. <laughs> Everybody was betting that it's somebody else that did the shit. 
And I got all three confirmations that it, no, that's not happened at all. That is not what happened. So at that moment in time, I was like, oh, this motherfucker full of shit. I said, oh, okay. Now it's time for me to play. Okay. I ain't shit. Ain't no fun. If the, the rabbit, rabbit got the gun. So I said, hey, man, so you need that money today, huh, $1,000? Yeah, I'm going to need it today, sir. Uh, we're going to definitely have to send a unit out to you. I said, well, send them in. I'm going to sit mine out. Well, no, sir, you don't just sit it out with the time. I said, well, what do we do then? Because I don't have it. And so them, and then fuck them kids. That's what I'm, what I'm on. Fuck them. Sir, you, this is the government. You can't. I said, no, no, fuck them. Fuck them kids. I ain't paying shit. As a matter of fact, fuck your kids while we on it. You got kids. Fuck your kids. And fuck the kids everybody that's in that bullshit office that you fuck in. Fuck everybody under 10. Everybody under 10. Fuck them. If they ain't never fucked before, this their first time. Yeah. Fuck him again, real hard. Hey, man, hey, you don't have to be like that. I said, no, I don't have to be like that. But you little twinkle-toed cocksucker, you, you and your mama with her Tasmanian devil face. Yeah. I bet your mama look like Barbara Bush face Let in the face. Let I'm tearing his mama out the frame. I said, guess what your mom doing right now? Gargling you. cocks, yeah. you son of a bitch. Yeah. Fuck you, you scamming motherfucker. <laughs> He's like, yeah, fuck you too. I said, oh, that's all you got? Uh -huh. Yeah, you broke it. Yeah, I broke it. Broke the I scammer. broke it. When you get the scammer to cuss you back, you are the winner. Oh man, he was hot. Yeah, I'll fuck you too. I was like, yeah. Guess what you're doing right now? Guess what your mom's doing right now? Guess what she's doing right now? Guess what she's doing right now? Guess what she's doing right now? I just kept repeating. Guess what she's doing right now? What? 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 He's yelling. What? 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 Listen to nothing, bitch, and hung up on him. <laughs> Listen to nothing, bitch. Hang up. My favorite hang up to do. Some of y'all might have heard it. When somebody calls and you say, hey, you know what? Do me a favor. Is that a closet by you? Yeah, it's a closet by me. It's a closet by me. What do I need to do? Get close to the closet. Oh, I'm, in, I'm by the closet. Is some shoes in there? Any shoes in the closet? Yeah, there's a couple pairs of shoes in there. What you need me to do? Do me a favor. Now, look up. There's some clothes in there, right? Yeah. Uh, between them clothes, open it up and hang this up for me. And I hang up on them. And the, the thought of them being in the closet. When, right. when they see that, they're staring at a rack of clothes. I'm using it. When you realize. On my relatives. Oh, man, let me tell you something. It's going to work. Oh, it gets little kids real good. You want to hang up on your boys? Oh. Tell them to go stand in the closet. Because because oh, they're going to stand there and not understand what's going on. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to call them from the outside the door. And I'm going to have somebody on the inside filming them. Yeah. Because when, they, listen, the thought of them being in the closet when you get hung up on, it's like, wait, what just happened? They could just put me in the closet. Yeah, I'm in the closet now. To hang up on me? Goddamn right. I'm man, up. fuck you. Hey, man, I gotta give a shout out to somebody real quick. Go ahead, get that shout out. Gotta give a shout out to Vlado. Vlado fuck with the podcast, and they told us to come on down there and go get some gear. Got the Vlado shoes on. Let me tell you how I got the Vlado. Vlado, dope ass clothing line, shoes, gear, period, apparel. Excuse me. Yeah. You niggas wear clothing. I wear apparel. Mm. So, I said, uh, I like the gear, and I, I, saw, I started liking some of this stuff. And um, I DM'd him. And Billy was talking about that blue check. Billy got that blue check. Billy checked up on you hoes. He blue checked up. He got that's a real that page is that's for somebody. That's a blue that check. Page for somebody. You gotta have a drug problem that to get one. That page is for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of coke tonight in the morning. I have a verification time. You made it, nigga. We've been waiting on you to do one line. I know niggas is you're in. You're, you're in. in. Welcome. You're in. You're a narc. Oh uh, yeah, you I'm are in. You got away. You scare my girl. Man, so that's hilarious. I, I, I did him, and the guy at the gym responds back. He's like, hey, what's going on, man? Uh, you know, love your stuff. Uh, thank you, you know, for rocking with us. Uh, whenever you in town, you got in town. I'm not fucking here. I'm around the corner. I get to the spot. He said, yeah, come on, it's time. I get to the spot. I walk in. Nice little boutique. They got they, they headquarters. They got a knife. They got a bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. Dope shit, too. So I'm looking around. I was like, this is nice. My man comes in, little Mexican guy, shakes my hands. Hey, man, thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. Uh, you know, if you, if you wanted to get some gear out here, it's cool. I said, yeah, I get some gear, but who own it? I want to talk to the owner. Yeah, when you talk to the owner. No disrespect, General, man. Mike, what you doing right here? I need to talk to the owner. Is the owner here? Uh, let me give her a call. Call her. <laughs> Keep talking, talking. God damn it. I said, okay. Yeah, yeah, let me, let, let me talk to her. I'm, I'm watching him on the phone. Oh, yeah, he's right here right now. Yeah, it's delay. They called me about my goddamn Instagram. Yeah, it's delays here. Yeah, okay. I'll send him up. Cool. 
I go up. It's upstairs. This day, this day shipping department. Oh. It's got the designer there, the guy, and it's this Asian lady. She's the owner. Dope chick. She says, "We like your content. What do you think the brand needs?" I said, "You need a spokesperson. You need me." I'm your spokesperson. Right. She says, we never had a spokesperson before. I said, that's why you need me. Because you need a spokesperson. You need a spokesperson. Yeah. And I see this brand right here being global. This is nothing local. She said. Keep talking. Really? Keep said, talking. Said, this is right here. This is for the youth as well. That's the old folks. And everybody in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's for skaters. That's for gamers. That's for everybody. This brand fits everything. You said skaters I and gamers. I feel like, yes, I got you. I feel like got what you're doing right here, yeah. I can take it and I can put my spin on it mm -hmm. and get the culture behind it. Oh, so the man. Behind it. You got to say culture. You got to get the culture behind it. Yeah. So culture's behind it. Everybody jumps behind it. Yeah. I look at your brand like hip hop. You remember when hip hop first came out? A lot of people didn't know about it. Then finally, people grabbed onto it and then it just boomed. I see you booming. How do you start? Right here. With me. Because you're supposed to person. She got to ask. Wow. I like that. I said, I know you do. Because I'm your spokesperson. <laughs> now, at this point, I've just named myself spokesperson. I've given myself the title. <laughs> Nobody has disagreed with me <laughs> until this day. Nope. Nobody's, Nobody Nobody disagreeing with you. With I ain't, you ain't going to disagree with me. She said, get whatever you want. Got some gear. Walked out there. And I guess I'm the spokesperson for Vado. Shout out to the people over at Vlado. Yeah, you're welcome. You know what's crazy is Vlado is right there downtown. And for those of you who don't know, let me give you some specifics. Uh, 14th and Maple, uh, <coughs> Santee, 12th and Santee. That's the fashion district yeah, in LA. Fitum is down there. Fashion Institution of Design and Marketing. Um, I'm sorry, Design and Manufacturing, not Marketing. Um, that is the, the hub for fashion that goes out to everywhere in the United States. People basically come here, this is the, the first stop if you're gonna to go to basic scale manufacturing. And a lot of people don't notice that the the jewelry that is made in this in this downtown part of Los Angeles is crazy too because the gold that comes over here. They have uh, one of the second largest um, gold banks and storage facilities here. So there's a surplus of gold in Los Angeles. Now, that came from the fact that during the gold rush, the 49ers, that's what the name came from. Yeah. That's what the goal is about in San Francisco. When people say, hey, what's gold we're out west? We're going out to search of gold. Well, Wells Fargo and all the big banks, they had to find a place that was secure enough because all the other banks that was holding gold and money was getting robbed. And you've seen all them cowboy and Indian movies about people robbing boy. shit. It was fucking them. Fuckin so the Los Angeles was that place to where there was a level of municipality in which people could get protection, the big banks could flourish, and from that moment, fund and cycle money throughout all of California. That is a history lesson basically on it. But let me tell you the important thing. What needed to happen was these people who had gold and, and all this money and stuff like that, those people then needed to uh, understand one important thing. They needed a dress and they needed fashion. And they had this money to finance that. Now, the surplus of Korean and Asian people that were in Los Angeles at that time, well, those people had came over here by boat, by train to help set up the railroad system, to help set up the building infrastructure, the infrastructure. Down, down, downtown. It was a lot of stuff happening at one time. So this became the first stop from people coming from Korea, Japan, China, Taiwan, Indonesia, all them flights is the first place you can stop in the land and most major hub is here in San Francisco. Those manufacturing connections were made and from this place, mm -hmm. fashion was the capital. Let me tell you what happens when you got a lot of fashion. You get a lot of fuckery. There's a suit man down there. Santee Suits. Santee Suits. A dude named Sal who runs Santee Suits. I'll pause for a second because I want the audience to appreciate what just happened for those three to five minutes. He just gave y'all <coughs> Let me tell you what he just did. <coughs> Metaphor. He just opened up a Snapple <coughs> in y'all. He read y'all. <coughs> sure did. Facts. I ain't ate a Cali Weed in a minute. That's a shit you for a goddamn Snapple. <coughs> he did it for y'all. But let me tell you why that he information was important. So now you got the backstory on understanding what's going on. This story that I'm about to tell you about is about Sal the Suit Man, Sonny the Goldsmith, 
and a young brother named Billy Sorrells. Come on now. Who had just come to Los Angeles, California. Come on, Billy. 2012. Pop your cherry. So I'm here. I don't have anything but my mouth. I don't have any money. Me and Courtney came out here with a Pontiac Grand Prix, a 02 edition of that. And uh, the answer to that story and the conclusion of what happens with Billy, the goldsmith, and Sal, the suit man, what happened when we come back right after this break? We'll be right back right after this. I'm a good dude, but I got my ain't shit days. I'm married, but some days I ain't shit. <laughs> Half your husbands ain't shit. They just trying to fake it. <laughs> be honest, go home tell y'all that. Hey, baby, I ain't shit today. <laughs> I was scrolling. I was looking. You know, but we ain't leaving because we got common sense. Though you be like the people, you know, women feel security yourself. Realize your man is smarter than what you think he is. Give him more credit. You think he gonna leave you for a Beyonce type? Ain't nobody gonna leave you for a Beyonce. Cause real niggas know what, what real niggas know. When you gonna take Beyonce if you get it? <laughs> huh? We take a pop of those bitch on pop of those. What you gonna do? Pop up a surprise with some tickets to her concert? <laughs> Too little dumb ass out here. <laughs> you can't take Beyonce no more. She ride that raggedy ass on the city. You have it. She been riding Phantom since '03. What you gonna do, take it to the club, pop bottles while they play songs from her ex husband huh? Go smash it in the house with the platinum plex that this nigga made? This nigga made blueprint, blackout. We know better. We got common sense. Just trust us sometime when we say it. Plain shit, though. <laughs> feel like I can vent to y'all tonight. I can tell you who I am. I'm the type of dude that like a couple of your pictures. You know, maybe take you out for a couple drinks. Then on a random Sunday after church, post a picture with me and my whole family, my wife and kids, talking about God is good all the time. You know, all the time, God is good. I ain't shit. I was drinking this one chick alone, she did in a whole nother city. She thought I was single and shit. I done had a whole nother baby on this bitch. Like, you got anything you want to tell me? Nope. Anything you want to say about anything new? I got some new shoes and new shades. What about that baby? Oh, yeah, that did just happen. <laughs> All right, man, and we're back below. So let me tell you. So it's real quick, and I'm going to jump into it. So, jeweler. There's Sal, who's the suit man, and then there's me. I come downtown in search of a suit because it's my first year working the BET Awards. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this. I know I need something fly. I need to go find a place to get me a badass suit. I'm going downtown. I'm looking around. They say, man, you need to go over to the fashion district. That's where all your shit is. Now, who tells me this is a nigga at the bus stop. Now, I don't listen to this nigga, but I'm like, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. He was like, nah, bro. But like you, you need to go over there to the fashion district. Go over there to Sandy Alley. Go pick you out something nice. I go into Sandy Alley, and it's like flea market of the world. Yeah. yeah. All the shit. They got niggas selling everything out there. Anything you want, you can get it in the alley. Commerce at its finest. Yeah, it's at its finest. Brother catches my attention. He's standing out there. Hair slicked back. Little pot belly. He's got a nice, real nice cut Italian shirt on because it's cut and manufactured so nice and precise. Sleeves rolled up, big ring on his pinky, big ring right here, and behind him, big titty woman working the register. And he's standing out there with a suit in his hand. He says, this is your suit, buddy. This is your suit, buddy. Let me tell you, you, he grabs my face. He says, you, buddy. You're a star, you're, you're a star, you're gonna play. You're working TV, right? You're working TV. You, let me guess, you come down here to get a suit because you gotta be on TV? I said, yeah, how did you know? He said, because I know a star when I see him. I see him when he come down he here. Good. He talking. got me. He got me. And Mexican man got you. Yeah, he's, he's not even Mexican. Sal is Italian and his mom's just a whore. Okay. So we don't know what the fuck else she is, but Sal is, me is Italian and whore. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's a lot of shit in that pot. Mix. So he's talking to me, and he, he woos me in. He said, put on a suit, put on a coat. And I put the coat on. He's like, listen, this never let them make you wear stuff that does not complement your skin. Grab my face again. again. It's two touches. It's two touches on my goddamn face. I ain't hit him yet. Right. Cause I'm sitting there like, I know he ain't on no gay shit, because he got the he big city woman right there. On his face. She's like, he looks back at it and says, hey, he like this guy right here. You, you, you fucking right. You fucking. She's like, oh, I definitely fucking. He's hot. She's doing this, starts fucking around. I'm like, damn. This nigga finna give me my, give my dick suck. How now, now, titties up here. I okay. can tell the only thing that was a little weird, lips was a little big. Okay. But that was only because... She shot the bitches up. But everything about them <clears throat> lips looked good. 
No, they wasn't hers. It was kind of like, let me tell you what she looked like. She looked like a fine ass Jessica Rabbit. Okay. Remember Jessica from yeah. from, from uh Roger Rabbit. From right. Roger Rabbit. Yeah. Just like that. Except her hair wasn't all red. It was dark black, sandy, red, orange kind of ish. Like in that little phase. Titty was crazy though. She was sitting behind that register. I was like, man, this motherfucker is fine. So I'm talking to him, looking at the titties. The titties got me a little distracted. So I'm going back and forth. He was like, you need this suit. This suit is this suit. This is suit right here, right? This is suit. She, she agrees with it. He says, but there's something missing. You do not have. Let me see your hand. You don't have any. You're going to be a star. You don't have any jewelry. Oh, You're lucky. I know a guy. Come on. <laughs> he walks with me. He said, I said, I didn't take a suit. I said, no, no, no. Walk with your suit. I want you to see how it feels when you walk down the street. I walk to the corner. There's a lady selling tamales and little small churros. Churros, like what they sell at Taco Bell, but these are the ones that's just like with all the butter on them, with all the cinnamon on them. Right. Walks up to the lady, just grabs the churro out the bag. Don't say shit or nothing. Just starts eating. She says, Sir, who you got today? This has a movie star. I said, yeah, I'm a movie star. I'm talking shit. She yeah, said, take, take a in. churro. Then gave me a churro. I want you to tell you something. They selling them churros. Eight churros for two dollars. But the fact that I got a hot ass churro in the middle of downtown with a nice cut suit on, yeah. and this nigga finna walk me to a jewelry store, and I didn't see big titty woman behind the register that told me she would fuck me. He got me. Right. He's got me. I'm in there. I go over to the jewelry store. The jewelry store guy, he walked me right in. Style standing in style. This guy's a movie star. Kid, what's tell him your name? He's, I said, Billy Surreal. He said, Yo, oh, you're a fucking star. You're a fucking star. I know a fucking star when I see one. He's got no jewelry on, Sal. Yes, he's got no jewelry on. So they start showing me rings. I put these rings on. These rings blinging like a motherfucker. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. The light. The ring, it dance on your hand. It's ballerina on your hand. I'm, I'm locked in. I'm like, yeah, it is a ballerina on my hand. And he's like, kid, you just promised me. You come back and you talk to me. I run this business in small. My son works here. He's a fuck up. It's okay. I'm not worried about him being a fuck up. As long as he's here, he's not in the streets. His mother's a real fucking basket case bitch. I don't like that bitch, but it's okay. So I'm, I'm getting all this detail, and they paint that motherfucker for me. I'm in. What you got in your pocket, kid? I said, uh, I only got $150. And I, I just was going to get a pair of suit and some shoes. No problem, no problem, no problem. You, you're good. It's oh, another dude touching your face. It's the second dude touching my face. Yeah. But I felt like he was family. Because then I started thinking this is some Italian That's what shit. Happens, right? Yeah, so he's like, take the ring, go. I said, what? He said, get out of here. Go be rich. Go I be sell rich. The, I, be, I sell the jewelry, go be rich. Go be rich. Let me explain something to you. The <clears> fact <throat> that he let me walk out this store with the ring, didn't say shit, and Sal's walking me back. Walking back past the Mexican lady. You have 150 US dollars on your purse. In my purse. And I'm giving none of it to nobody. Nothing. But I got a new ring. I got on a jacket. The bitch just said she was going to give me some pussy, Didi. What the fuck, man? And you got some churros. I, 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 you know what happened then? Hot I, churros. I called my daddy. Oh. Called Papa. Say, man. Hey. I said, boy, they got me. They got I'm down here. They didn't gave me a suit. They gave me a diamond ring. He said, hey, what? Hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, man, you missed class again. I'm going to kick your ass up out of school. Hey, listen, let me tell you something, man. Hold on. Let me get these kids out of my office. I'm going to call you right <laughs> Hold on. Matter of fact, wait, wait. hey, man, y'all get up out of here, man. Don't go where you're going. Uh, I mean, hey, hey, now you need to make sure you do something. Now that boy whooped your ass last week on the basketball court, you need to do something about it. You got to tighten your defense up, man. Tighten your defense up. Open your hands up. Get your palms open. You can't play defense with your palms. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Hey, now what they got, what they got going on with you? Hey, hey, my son over here in Hollywood. You know, he know how he is. My Hollywood calls. I got to close my door. Hey, man, what, tell me what happened. I said, Daddy, they, uh, they didn't gave me a diamond ring. I knew they was going to give you a diamond ring. Now, look, they're going to try and get you to shove that shit in your nose. You got to be ready for that. Now, I told you about what happened with me in the cast of the Wiz. They're going to try and get you to shove that shit in your nose. <laughs> I told you what happened with me in that cast of the Wiz. That's right, the Nashville cast of the Wiz. Fucked all of them. Fucked all of them in that room. And then I had to took, I took Dorothy and I took one of them witches, assistance bitches, and I fucked them all night long. But then the lion tried to come and turn on the doorknob. So you got to be ready for that. They're going to try and treat They're going to try and look at your dick now. Hey, hey, sometimes you're going to shuffle, they gonna then they're going to ask you to deal. Sometimes you're going to shuffle. If you shuffle, you'll deal. What the fuck are you talking about? 
So now I'm like, Didi, I'm like, man, all right, dad. Uh, yeah. So he's like, man, he gave me this ring. It's Italian dude. He's like, okay, don't worry about it. Man. Hey, man, hey, 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 you my son. Just call me when you get out of there. I'm going to talk to him. All right, click, hang the phone up. So now I'm like, I'm feeling pretty good. Pop said, said shit to me about none of this. I ain't got nothing showed up my nose. I told him about the Italian chick that's behind the register that I want to fuck. He was like, you just be ready for the weird shit. I mean, that's all Pop told me. Get back over there. He's like, all right, man, um, you need shoes? I got shoes for you. He lays the shoes out. He grabs the shoes with his two fingers and got him sit. And he sits them right there. Like, how the fuck are you able to hold these two shoes up? He grabs them up, puts them in, puts them right there. Step in, step in, step in. Stand up, look around, turn around. Nah, I don't like those shoes. The fact that he didn't try and sell me them and said he didn't like them and went back to the wall and got some more and put them back down there, boom. He didn't like them. He, he didn't. Asked you shit. She didn't ask me shit. Ain't got shit to do with you. Brought me back two more pair of shoes, didn't like neither ones of them. Then a third pair of shoes, he said, that's it. That's it, turn around, look at your feet. He said, look at your feet. Now, I want you to take your foot, sit down, take your foot and do this. He says, how does it feel? I said, it feels good. He says, let me tell you, you know why it feels good? He said, if you got 100% silk socks on, kid. He said, you got style. You got finesse. You got pizzazz. pizzazz. The pizzazz part got me. Got Ain't you. nobody ever told me I had pizzazz. pizzazz. So I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So I said, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? He says, I want you to market my business. I want you to tell people on the internet. Go on the internet. Tell them about me, okay? I said, I don't owe you nothing. He was like, ah. What you got? You got I got like a hundred bucks on you. I can take a hundred bucks. I look. I got a hundred dollars. Yeah, the game a hundred. And you know what? Give him. Let's get him a. Get him a handkerchief and go back and get him out of Dad's box. He says Dad's box. Oh shit! This is personal. Fuck! He done went personal, D. Personal. He done went personal. He got personal, man. He done came out, dug through these handkerchiefs, and he says, "A man who has a handkerchief." but doesn't have a personality is a sad man. Mm. A man that has a personality and doesn't have a handkerchief, has a runny nose, stuffs the handkerchief in my, nose, in my, in my pocket of my suit, pats me, now give me $50. I gave him that $50. That's 150 out of total. I walked out of there broke. Yes, yeah, so you have no more money. I have no more money. And I walked away with a churro mm -hmm. and a new suit, yes. some shoes and a ring. Got in my car, went, to go work for the BET Awards that weekend felt good. Week three, mm -hmm. I'm going to audition. I put my ring on, and I'm in the car with Lil Paul. Lil Paul's not looking at me because he's driving. I got my suit. I'm feeling good. I got my ring on. He said, yeah, Newt, you're going to kill him today, but not before your finger died with that goddamn ring on it. <laughs> he said, you got your fingers look like the walking dead. I ain't realized because I've been throwing the, the ring on, that I done got a little light green ring around my finger, and the ring done lost some diamonds, and it has right changed away. colors. Oh, right away. It was like, I don't know, it was like a, a magician's ring, like, vavoom, it's now something else. So my ring, I'm looking, I'm like, what the fuck, man? He's like, where you get the ring from? I got it downtown, man, it was a, it's a diamond ring. I immediately say, I said, somebody, Courtney done spilled some shit on my fucking ring. I go downtown, I try to find my way to old buddy's shop, his shop is closed. I go across the street. Right across the street, there is gold repairs. I come in there like I'm Big Dick Willie. You got the best gold in town. I take the ring off, I said, hey man, my diamond ring and my gold need to be polished. Loud. Starting to get tarnished. Slam that bitch on the table. Tell it to me. <laughs> <laughs> they in the back. Now, dude didn't call his mama that's in the back. Mom! She come out there, she laughing. Everybody, no, 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 no. I'm like, they look at me and I said, what's the problem, man? What's up? What's up, man? I said, don't lose my goddamn ring, man. Fuck one of y'all off. They dying don't laughing. Don't lose my ring. They said, let me tell you something. The only thing this, this ring is getting close to is a trash can, kid. It's trash. <laughs> I said, no. I said, the, little, the goldsmith across the street, he says, is Paulie? Oh, he fucked you, kid. He fucked you real good. Let me guess, he had his fucking sicko brother in on it, too. He's, he said, they got him with the jewelry and the suit thing. I said, kid, this ring is worth nothing. They got him with the jewelry and the suit thing. Man, took all the money. He said, kid, South fucked you. Look over there. Look at the sign. You know what the sign said? What? Suit, shoes, hanky. Socks, 
$65. I'm hot. I'm hot. Hold up, Billo. Mm -mm. Damn shit, bro. Yeah, well, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Don't worry about that. Hmm. Don't worry about that. We got this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> he, Paulie? Yeah, he fucked you. And he said it like that, and they laughed. And then they took a lunch break <laughs> and ate and start opening up bags on me and shit. My ring is sitting on the table. I'm thinking I'm going to got some Gustavo heirloom that's been passed on to me from the, the, the four families. Like somebody got kissed and then shot in the face with this fucking ring on. None of that. Now I'm looking at this sign and say $65, and I'm thinking to myself, he got 85 US dollars from me, bitch, and I want it back for taking that shit. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna go get it back. I walk over there, the big titty girl's back there. I said, hey, I said, where's your friend at? Oh, you came back, you like your suit? Oh, wow. Then she turns around to the dude that's over there, and the guy's talking about, it. hey, I bet you do like him with his suit. Maybe you can suck his dick. Ha 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 ha. They're joking with each other. I'm like, how is he playing with her like this? She's right. like, uh, yeah, I sucked your dick too, but your dick wasn't shit. So they got this whole dialogue going on. Mind you, it is 11.30 on a Tuesday. Ain't nobody in the fucking store. So now I'm feeling weird, because at this whole time, my fantasy is dwindling, because I feel like, oh, she's just fucking everybody. Right. That's what's happening now. I've petitioners even gotten upset about this situation. So then I'm like, where's- Do you want to fuck her? I did. I still wanted to that day, right. but it was like I wouldn't spend anything to fuck her. It would just be like, "Oh, you gonna fuck me right now?" Like, right. okay, I'm, I'm gonna pull out my dick right here in the store. Raw. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll right. it's, it's foreign, of course. Anytime you can let your DNA run rampant in the womb of a woman from another country, you do it. You let that sperm that was once on the bottom of a slave ship. Run rampant in the womb of these foreign women. And ladies, if you're out there and you want somebody to run rampant with you, <laughs> give us a call. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you. Just hold tight. Hold tight. Somebody's around. Sal ain't nowhere to be fucking found, and I'm upset. I left that place feeling like a dumbass. I called my daddy. My daddy just, hey, man, you know what? <laughs> you know, let me tell you what's good about this. Hey, oh, fuck you. Everybody's in it. I ain't seen Sal. They was all in on the gig. I don't even want to talk about it, Didi. You know what? Bruh, they was all in on the gig. Let me tell you something. Speaking of being all in on the gig, we got a chance to hit the road, do some dates, me, Fool, and Billy. And we uh, landed in Atlanta, Georgia. And we had a nice Airbnb downtown yeah. overlooking the city sky, beautiful upstairs. <laughs> We're in there. It's so three, two, three ish. Oh, oh, it's plant based dick everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> it's a great situation. We're loving life. So, the Coke boys decide hey, man, we need to go out tonight. I'm really not going to go out. But I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. If the Coke boys want to go out, fuck it, we can go out. But I really don't want to go out. Fool is like, hey, man, I've been to this spot before already, man. It's dope, man. Everybody there. It's a solid party. Everybody fucking with a solid party. Now, I've never been to a solid party. Well, I had been to a solid party once, but not this type of solid party. The first solid party I went to was dope as fuck. I mean, it was like three different rooms. and I mean, three different DJs. Shit is vibing. If you ever been to a Oh, party, shit. Like, you got to experience a solid He's talking about the bonfire in Atlanta. That's what the fuck he's talking about. We were saving face. There Fuck it. it. Bonfire, they got there a comedy is. show. Bonfire ATL. Keep going. It's out there, not bonfire. It happened in your establishment. So, they talked me into it. I'm like, Fuck it, let's go. So, if you know anything about rolling with the, uh, the 96, 96 Bulls, you know that when we move, we attract people, and it may start off with three people, we end up with five, seven, nine people at the end of the night. But when we get to where we need to be, our entourage got bigger. That's just what happens with us. We start being friendly with people and, hey, we, we, you with us. We in this thing. We get to the bonfire, find a nice little spot to park, get to the spot. He says, hey, listen, $20 a head to get in. 
Don't nobody got no cash but me. Bam. But it was like six of us. Bam. Told my ass out the frame for that 120. Ooh, right sure I'm did. Like, All right, cool. Fuck it. It's lit. It's a bonfire going on out there. Black people everywhere, man. Everybody's having a good time. It's grown folks. DJ outside. It's man, this is nice. This is on the outside. On the inside, it's like a warehouse, a big huge warehouse. Right? Everybody in there got their headphones on. You walk in, it's, it's like it's just silent. Like it's a motherfucking party. <laughs> Cause you ain't got your shit on yet. So you like, let me get me out of here. Give me my shit. So I can motherfuckers. What they listening to? This is what they getting. I need this. So we go, bam, get the headphones, Bill O get his, I get my damn food, get his. We're in there at this point about 60 seconds. It's 60 seconds in. Bill O says, where the fuck the bar at? I'm gonna get to this bar. All right, cool. Me and Bill O bounce over to the bar. Food is left back. We know where he is. But we don't know where he is. Because he's because it's the thing. This would have happened right where he's talking about. I was about to leave my headphones on and I took them off. Cause I was like, I kept trying to tell him we're going to the bar and these niggas can't hear me because it is to the music. So I said, hey, take that shit off. And so he was like, yeah. And so Fool got his shit on. He all in experience. He done coke boarded it up. So he he got the music, he playing fantasy orchestra right there. And so we finally find this bar. Now behind this bar is two light-skinned women, one real tall, Amazon, curly, crinkly hair, titties pressed up, nice little hair shirt on, stomach cool. She don't work out, but she don't need to. Bitch still fine. Ass, got some nice little ripped denim stonewashed jeans on. Now the little chick next to her, she light-skinned, but she a little shorter. A little smaller frame, not big titties, but she's still fine. You still probably married. Somebody gonna marry the bitch. It's all good. And that's where we at right now. I'm about to order because they got a gallon of fucking Hennessy. And I'm looking at it. They see this liquor. I see this liquor. I got my headphones on, but they ain't all the way on. My antennas are up. Something ain't right. Billo got his back to me. It's like I can see his back. He's ordering the drinks, talking to the bad chicks. I hear, pop, 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 pop. Billow drop, I drop. There's a ramp. There's a ramp in the club. I turn on all my military skills, every last one. I dove over the ramp. I started low crawling. <laughs> hey, I'm getting through that bitch. Billow, I, I can see what Billow is. I know one thing, in a shootout, most people not used to be in the shootout, everybody gonna keep their head down. Very few people are gonna look up. I know that. So I'm looking up, I'm like, let me see who the fuck I see. <laughs> Damn fool. Head fold up and I'm forgetting it in. I don't know what the fuck fool listen to. Hey, let me Hold tell you the fuck up. Let me tell you what's crazy. While he right there doing that, everybody's on the ground. I, I'm on the skate ramp looking around. I see Diddy, Diddy dug down. I'm, I'm looking, I'm ducking, I'm looking. Let me tell you what happened. I'm going to rewind. Billy's at the bar. Diddy's over there. He got the earphone halfway on. He's looking this bitches and started dancing on his side, talking to the girl. Nigga walks up and says, yeah, man, so, uh, yeah, man, uh, y'all got change for a 20? She was like, we ain't taking cash. We only taking cash app at the bar. He was like, man, what the fuck? I got $20. She was like, we don't have change. We don't want to keep up with that. Can you just cash app us? Because that's how they're keeping the, the tabs on the receipts. You want a receipt, don't you, for what you spent? Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, fuck this, man. These bitches done came down here talking all that cash app shit. My baby mama had about a cash app. Bitch, fuck them kids. I'm trying to deal with this. That, that, that's out over his shoulder. All I hear is, I cut that nigga right there. Boom, he, somebody got hit right behind dude that was talking. It's a scumble, a scuffle breakout. Now I'm like, oh, ooh, they snuck him, ooh. <laughs> they almost jumping him, he getting beat him. What I didn't see was the nigga who runs over to start the pop, pop, pop. This nigga got dreads, tall, dark nigga, he pushed through. Oh, nigga, move, plop, 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 plop. Now, 
Somebody's dead over there. That's all I'm knowing. And I, when I see the, when I see the nigga say move, I ain't, you ain't moving unless you finna come through and karate chop a nigga with a samurai sword. You got a gun on you. So he said move. I said, oh shit. And so I bumped into the bar. The bar scoots back on the light skin bitch. She pouring a drink. Drink starts spilling. Shit start happening. Then somebody reaches out. All oh, them niggas tripping. <laughs> grabs the bar. Grabs the motherfucking drink. I immediately start running. I, I got my I got my body like this because I'm like, if I get shot, I want to get shot over in the side, not some shit that I can live through. I'm covering my stomach because I don't want a shit bag, and I'm running. I'm like, I love them niggas, but I can't get to them right now. And so Didi runs past me, dives over military. He all right here. Yo, get down, <laughs> bitches. He pulling bitches. Get down. Now I jumps over, but I I'm like I ain't with the full commit. Yeah, Cause I, Billy on his goddamn side. I'm like I'm like Billy's in the fetal position. Billy is here with it. He's like like I don't know if he don't want to get shot on one particular side of his body or what. But Billy is here, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, but fool is over there in the corner. Yeah. Grooving it. And we'll tell you the rest of that story when we come back. More to come. Did you miss me podcast? Don't go nowhere. We'll yeah. be right back right after this. What happened? What's wrong with you? Man, them niggas from Inglewood chased me all the way over here. Wait, who? You know, the blips. The blips? Yeah, the niggas that ain't came to the conclusion whether they're going to be part-time bloods or full-time crips. Damn. I thought you had to walk your little sister home from school. I did. Where is she? They wouldn't let her in. She's only six. That's what I said, but they ain't bullshitting. They said if you really wasn't from South Central like that, then you can't come in. And you just left her? She only my half-sister, dog. Maybe a fourth. But she live with you. Yeah, but her daddy stay in Watts. Oh, no. What? I ain't know that. Yeah, I tell her that all the time. But if they can't vouch for the hoods that you been traveling in, they ain't finna let niggas through. That's a damn shame, man. And you wonder why we divided as a people. The white government? People. Yeah, I said white people. Nah, the problem is we don't work together. Anyways, what you gonna do about Brie? Probably finna call my cousins and them, you know, the ones from Compton. Man, what is you doing? Man, I'm calling the cops. For what? I ain't fucking with no Compton niggas, man. They ain't got no father figures, they ain't got no dreams to live for. I refuse to give credit to Compton for Kendrick Lamar. He's a supernatural anomaly. That's like giving Gary Indiana credit for Michael Jackson. Man, that nigga, D.D. is a full-fledged Marine. He is straight pulling motherfuckers out of the way. I told him, I was, listen to me. I was getting out of that goddamn building. I was getting out of there. I wanted to make sure y'all got out of there. But I knew I was getting out of there. I knew I was getting out of there, too. I'm, I'm like, God damn this motherfucker. I'm like, my, this was not, I was just saying to myself how nice this was. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it was an art. And, this is dope. Art in there. The cat was, he was painting Nip, Nipsey Hussle. That nigga was paying Nipsey Hustle. Cap and they tried to Nipsey Hustle us in that bitch. So they tried to the neighborhood nip us in that bitch. So I see damn fool over there getting it. Getting it. This motherfucker still doesn't get it. He don't know. It's a silent party. It's a whole shootout and we went out. This motherfucker has no idea. Because the DJ ain't stopped playing the music DJ at all. Still going. ain't got shit to do with the DJ. The DJ. Okay, my job no. is to sit back here. I ain't, ain't got to be seen. Damn fool in that bitch. So I walk over. I'm like, fool. Fool, that nigga was like, hey, I said, ah, 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 Hey, let's go, nigga, they shooting. Who's shooting? Where Billy at? Below! This motherfucker takes off. I'm like, what the fuck, Billy? Billy gone. Now, we already, 96 Bulls got a rule. He doesn't, anything happen, we already know where we park, like I said in the beginning. Get to the car. Get to the car. We already got that rule. Get to the car. He's hot, Billy! Bill, I'm just standing up. He ain't know where the shooter might be. He don't know who's shooting. Now, let me tell you, this nigga look like he doing a goddamn junior high play walking through. Billy! Billy! Hey, man! I, now, I can see this nigga. I said, oh, yeah, this nigga. Oh, I said, oh, shit. The shooter, I'm, they the I'm trying to, I'm like, oh, my. Security's like, I ain't going no motherfucker. Where. I'm like, oh, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. Bam. We hit it. We get outside. It's a lot of commotion. We get to the car. Bam. Billow sitting in the front seat, in the back seat, damn fool. This nigga done beat me to the goddamn car. Mm. Open the door, look in the back seat, damn fool, look me dead in my eyes, and he said, Did you miss me? Goddamn! Took him around the world. 
and drop their ass off. Hey, man, this has been another fire episode of Did You Miss Me? I'm D-Lay. I'm Billy Sorrells. Thank y'all for watching. Keep watching. We got hot shit. Don't forget to subscribe to Patreon.